What up? And welcome to another episode of Cooking with Cows. You hear the theme music? Me either, but it's been worked on. <laughs> Happy Memorial Day weekend. Look, it's cookout time. It's the unofficial kick off the summer, and there's nothing that says summer like a cookout, right? Even though you're supposed to be social distancing, so maybe have like four or five people there, whatever. Just don't go OD and then everybody be sick. No, keep it small. But what's most important is make sure you have the right foods. In today's episodes of Cook with Cows, hold on, Cook with Cows, it's like no. <laughs> we're talking about the important side dishes. Today we're going to tackle devilish eggs. We're going to talk about not your mama turkey burger, some lip smacking barbecue baked beans, and then my favorite, which is perfect for like a movie night or like an appetizer, is chips and dip. Ready for that? Well, sit back, relax, and get ready to cook with me, Kels. All right, so the first step to making your lip smack on barbecue baked beans is get you about a pound to a pound and a half of ground turkey, or if you want to use ground beef, that's fine too. And then just season it how you normally would if you're doing like hamburgers or like you're making a meatloaf. Like for me, it's of course black pepper, I put on everything. I got some Herbs Day, what is it called? The uh, Herbs Day Province. Got it from Amazon, sprinkle that on there. Of course, keep your pan on down low to medium heat. Put garlic in everything, so it's garlic for me as well. And then, last but not least, good old seasonal. First important thing though is to make sure <laughs> your stove's on. Can't do anything about the stove being on. I said like to a medium to medium low heat. Just let it cook and brown as normal. If you notice that your meat is starting to cook too fast, just go ahead and turn your eye down a little bit. I have a gas stove, so you know gas stoves is the truth, so they cook. You can always adjust your heat. Another thing, you want about flavor. To me, that's one of the most important things about cooking like ground turkey or ground beef, is you want to make sure you have enough seasoning because you don't want no meat <laughs> that's not seasoned. You want your meat to be right, you feel me? <laughs> I'm here all week. <laughs> yep. Then turn it, if you will, so it gets cooked all the way through. And just let it brown, baby brown. So once you go ahead and got your ground turkey or ground beef, whatever one you're using, all cooked, you know, no pink is showing. What you want to do next, Oh, let me just say this, I use garlic powder, but you know, if you want to use real garlic, a garlic clove or a garlic clove, cloves, plural, you can. But uh, after you get it all brown, get it done, you don't want to get black, but it's browned enough. <laughs> make sure it's done, so make sure it's no pink. Go ahead and add in, I did almost a full green pepper, green bell pepper, and like a half of an onion. Go ahead and mix that in there. Let that cook and saute it all mixed up. If you want to, go ahead and add some more seasoning. You can never have enough seasoning. You want to be just right. And actually, I think I'm going to go ahead and add, add some more green peppers and onions to this. You'll see why in a little bit. Make sure you get it all out. Mix it in very, very good. I diced up some more peppers and onions. So at this point, I used a full, um, full green pepper and about three quarters of an onion and diced it. Yep, I cheated with my little dicing tool. I'll explain that in another video. And just continue to cook it in, work it all together. Your taste buds will thank you for it later. Trust me on this one. <laughs> Told you making some lip smack and barbecue baked beans. All right, so once you get it mixed in, all the flavors are marinated. You can go ahead, and turn your eye off, and set it to the side. I do want to clarify: you want to season your ground beef or your ground turkey how you would do if you was making spaghetti or you know something like that. Just set that to the side and get ready for the next element. 
Okay, so in this next step, I have about three cans of baked beans. I have about three cups of barbecue sauce, have about a half a cup of mustard, and then I got about a cup of brown sugar. Got your pan down low, and um, you just stir it, mix it well together. And I say start with uh, about three cups of mustard. I mean, excuse me, three cups of barbecue sauce because like I said, depending on your taste buds, you might want to add some more. It could be some more barbecue sauce, some more mustard, or even some brown sugar, you know, to get you right. Got your pan down low to low medium. Let it mix well together. And just let it, you know, cook a little bit. And there's nothing wrong with tasting your own food. Of course, make sure you wash your hands and wash your utensils. I should have to tell you that, uh, Having like a testing utensil, but if you only have one, I guess, spoon or whatever, just make sure you wash real good before you put it back in your food because you don't want to contaminate the food. Ain't nobody got time for all your germs, especially with the coronavirus. <laughs> so yeah, see how it's mixed well together? And just let it work. So once you get your beans and the flavor all mixed in, you got your brown sugar, your mustard, barbecue sauce and you get it to the right flavor that you want then you can go ahead and add in your ground turkey ground beef with the onions and flavor and some seasonings into the beans and again this is probably about a pound and a half of ground turkey a whole green pepper and like three quarters of an onion diced up, cooked together with the seasoning to mix in about three cans of beans. And again, let them mix in. You can probably turn your stove back down to low and let them marinate. And one thing you can do, say if you still got some more things to cook like I do, once you get them mixed in together and you taste it again to get the flavor right, you can go ahead and turn your oven on, I would say like, 325, 350, and just let it sit in the oven, cook a little bit longer, let the juices and all the flavors mix together. And when it's all said and done, you got your list smacking barbecue baked beans. Enjoy.